Hello DLC Pack Donovans. I just wanted to share with you in this video the new weapons that uh, were added to the first DLC pack uh, for EDF5. Um, we're going to start with the Ranger class. I'll probably be doing each class a different video. So let's start with Ranger here. Um, I finally unlocked them all. I don't have them all leveled up, but I do have the stats for the uh, max leveled. So let's get started. Um, for Ranger, his weapons aren't the most overwhelming, but I would say that he has got some decent weapons. Let's start with the machine gun here first. He has a level 100 machine gun. It is by far his best machine gun for sure. Um, this one right here, um, fully maxed out, it does about 6,400 or 6,454 DPS. Um, but the benefit of this thing is it has good range, 543 meter range, and also it penetrates through targets. So it's pretty much like the GNM class is the, the weapons usually penetrate through targets, but the problem is you have to spam the trigger on those, so it can be a little bit tough. Um, but uh, I mean, this this particular GNM does a little bit more damage per second. Um, this one does uh, 7,300 damage per second, but of course you have to reload a lot more often, and like I said, you have to spam the trigger. So a little bit more damage on this thing, but this one definitely outclasses it as far as how easy it is to use and just how long you can fire it before having to reload. Uh, the best one below that, the TZ, uh, does uh, just 4,300 damage per second. So this definitely is better, and like I said, it penetrates through targets, has a 2x zoom. So pretty good weapon for sure. I definitely uh, definitely like it. Um, and then he also got another shotgun. Now he, he has like these this huge one-shot shotgun that does a lot of damage, like this D110, uh, level 80 here. Um, and this one, the, the shotguns pretty much all penetrate through targets. Except this new one, actually. This is what makes it different. Um, it's actually an explosive shotgun. So it's if you if you know the uh, the MK brand uh, machine guns, these things right here, how it shoots like an explosive target on the enemy and then they blow up. That's pretty much what this shotgun does. So the benefit of this one is it has only 180 meter range compared to the 150 on this one. So it has more range, but there's no damage fall off. So that's that's definitely the nice thing about it. You don't have to worry about being super close to the target to do all that damage. Um, let's see. As far as the damage per shot, this one does 34,650 damage per shot, and you can shoot it 1.3 per second, so a little bit over that for DPS. And uh, it also has a 4 meter blast and the 3.4 second reload, which isn't bad at all. So I would say this is a pretty decent shotgun. I mean, it doesn't penetrate through targets, so maybe against groups of enemies it'd be better to take one of these other ones, but for large targets I would say this is a pretty decent shot, because all your shots are going to stick to the target and do their damage. Um, as far as the other shotguns, uh, the D100, or the D110 rather, um, is a little bit under uh, 42,000 uh, damage uh, per shot, but of course you have to be really close to the target to get that damage, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, of course, it doesn't, uh, the, the SGN, the, the, the fast shooting shotgun where you have to pull the trigger really fast to get the damage, uh, this thing does 27,784 damage per second, so that's pretty decent damage per second, but like I said, once again, you have to be closer to the target to do that damage, and then the EZ does uh, 12,933 damage per second. So, this thing does do, um, it doesn't do as much damage as this one at fully up close, but like I said, being, being able to be at range is kind of nice, So, and it does 34,000, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to equip each of those, and I'm going to take an item. He's got one new item, and the item is not, not very good, and I don't understand what they were thinking with this item. Um, pretty much the stats are, let's see what I, I haven't written down here because I don't, <laughs> it's 150% walking speed, we'll pretty much just look at it, 50% more walking speed, 40% more dashing speed, 300% uh, acceleration, so you can acceler accelerate really fast to that speed, 150% uh, uh, percent, uh, turning speed, so you can turn really fast with it, but 80% from, uh, from when you take damage, as far as what it slows you down, so what that means is, instead of slowing you down 100% like it normally would, it slows you down 80%, which is only a 20% decrease, which is not very good, because there's items up here, such as the one I always use, the level 67, which you have 0%. Uh, bullets do not slow you down at all when you're running, so you cannot be slowed. So, I mean, obviously the acceleration isn't as great, but you, you can, run fa you can uh, sprint faster, the 200%, and also you can run through obstacles on this one. I mean... So what, you can't turn quite as well with it. I mean, I'm not sure I understand that. Even the best one here kind of outclasses it because you can still run through objects or you can still um, take less 
take less have have less slowdown from from fire on you. So I'm not sure uh, what makes this this item so great, but uh, we'll take it out anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's take this on a mission here just to show it off a little bit. Uh, let's do let's do this one here, an inferno. Alright, so here's the machine gun. It has a 2x zoom, so that's pretty nice. And it's it's def very accurate. It's got, like I said, good range, 543 meters. But you can definitely shoot this thing a very long time, as you can see. And uh, so that's what, that, that way outclasses the uh, the GNM. And of course, quicker, or quick reload, so... It's definitely strong, and like I said, it's, it's, a great, it's great for uh, groups of enemies as well, so... Pretty decent... Oh, that's a nice little glitch there. Uh, pretty decent overall weapon, I would say. Definitely, definitely usable. Definitely strong and useful in most most situations, I would say. It's even good for uh, you know for range as well. The damage fall off isn't terrible on it. And then there's the uh, shotgun. As you can see, the shotgun will uh, stick to the walls there, and then it'll blow up. So pretty cool. I definitely like the idea of it. I I didn't I didn't really uh. I didn't really think to look at the stats at the beginning. I thought this was just a regular shotgun. It's a better version of the of the 110, but it's not. It's actually a explosive shotgun. So pretty. Let me uh, restart there because <laughs> took my time a little bit too much there. But uh, also my health is at 1900. I lowered it for the let's play. But it's really nice as far as being able to stay at distance with a shotgun and do that much damage. about 180 meters so it's not the greatest range but it's definitely decent range and when it's fully uh, when it's fully leveled up you can shoot it pretty fast more than one a second so that is nice it's not like a too slow to use but I kind of want to get close to one of these guys and shoot one but my health is not the greatest for this oh yeah here's the here's the walking speed so you can I mean you can definitely feel the difference in the walking speed and then the acceleration is pretty fast three hundred percent but you can't run through obstacles so and when you when you get hit you get slowed down so I'm not sure I'm not sure what what's the good the, the big deal about this item I think this is where we die oh my goodness I definitely like being able to do thirty four thousand damage to a big target um, so, yeah, pretty cool. I like it. I mean, I think it's definitely useful. And, uh, like I said, I guess it'd be situational, but, uh, let's go back to the, uh, menu here and show the next weapon now. Alright, on to the, uh, sniper rifles. He actually has a couple sniper rifles this time that are new. He has, good news, he has a fast shooting sniper, but you actually can hold the trigger on it. You don't have to worry about uh, spamming the trigger, because his previous best one was this one, but you had to pull the trigger 2.2 um, .2 times a second, and it was kind of hard to get that exact timing. So, uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, this thing does um, 5,311 damage per second, so it's not, like, ridiculous, but it's definitely definitely not not terrible by any means um, let's see it has has a good range it has uh, the six points if it, it, it fire is 6.7 uh, per second when it's fully leveled up but it has a huge magazine as you can see so that's pretty cool the reload time is a little bit long five seconds but I like to zoom on it three seconds is perf or three uh, three X zoom is perfect in my opinion um, and then it's versus this one the, the previous best one you had was this one which was uh, 4484 damage per second so a little bit under 900 more damage per second for this new one. So let's go ahead and take one of those, and then let's take his other sniper, which is... It's like a mix between a Lysander Z and a uh, Stringer. So, it's pretty cool. It shoots through targets, so that's definitely cool. Mine's by by me, by a... Uh, mine's not even close to being leveled up, unfortunately, but... Uh, but when it is leveled up, it, I think it maxes up about point, point 0.89 per second, so you can shoot a little bit under uh, one per second, so not terrible. And the damage is uh, 3963 when it's maxed out, and it shoots through targets, so yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, it's got a pretty decent uh, quick reload, which I really like, um, which which is pretty pretty useful, I think. And uh, that is versus the I guess 
what you would what you would compare that to would be the MR100, which is a stringer. Um, it got a recent buff. For, it got a, a little bit of a buff here. It, it was uh, buffed to about um, I think it was somewhere around 13, 14,000. I was thinking it was gonna be 18, but it sounds like it's not. So if that's the case, then it, this is this one does about 3,400 damage per second as well if you include reloads, or about 32 actually. So the, the DPS is similar to these two, but this is one big shot and this is just a continuous fire. And uh, I don't know. I think I. I think I would prefer this one, maybe. I like the continuous fire, but that thing looks cool. Look at that thing. So let's take this thing out. And, uh... We can take it on the same mission. But, I mean, these are definitely better weapons. I mean, that's... They're not... I don't think any of them are broken yet, at least that I've seen, but I haven't uh, went through all of them yet, so... This thing... I like how it fires. It's definitely a cool weapon. It's like a machine gun sniper. Very accurate. Big magazine. Very cool. I think I'm going to be using this thing a lot, honestly. I've always liked automatic snipers, and uh, this one is definitely cool. And the reload is the reload is a little bit weak. I don't like really care for the reload, but it's got a big magazine. So, And then there's this one, which is, like I said, a stringer slash... Um, Lysander. I mean, it fires relatively fast. And I, th I think, I don't know. I don't know what would be better, the big shot or the... or having having a couple shots where you can... I, th I think a couple shots would be better because if you have 13, 14,000 damage and the, the enemy target is only like 5,000 and you're wasting... you're wasting your shot on one target, all that damage where you could be firing, you know, in the same amount of time, two or three shots with this weapon and killing three targets, so... I guess it depends on the situation, but pretty cool. Definitely a good weapon. I think it'll have its uses as well. So, and the reload is really nice on this. I'm really happy with the reload speed. So, so yeah, pretty cool. Let's go back and look at the next weapon now. I think next we're on to rocket launchers. Yes, and then, and he received one rocket launcher, and it's pretty much a Goliath, and. If you looked at the previous Goliath, which is this one right here, this one you actually can guide with a laser, which is kind of cool. Um, it has a 28 meter blast, 5 second reload. This one is a little bit quicker reload, not much. A little bit bigger blast, but not much. Um, and you don't got, you can't guide it with a laser. So, I feel like they almost could have made the blast like 45 meters or something on this thing. I feel like it's, it's not too different from this. In that this one obviously is slower and you have to guide it with a laser, whereas this one's a fast shot. But, I don't know, I think the damage could have been increased a little bit, or the blast radius could have been increased a little bit. And then he has no missile launchers, unfortunately. And he does have one grenade launcher, and it is a guy flame geyser, so let's take that. And let's take a different mission for this. Let's go underground, maybe. Um, hmm. Let's go underground here. I always like Goliath, so personally. I think with the reload time, though, the Goliath, the damage is not very great. I mean, it does fire fast, which is nice. But the reload time, I think, is just too long for the damage, honestly. I mean, he has a shotgun that does, you know, what? So much more damage, and you, you the reload is, uh... Or you have more than one shot? I mean, at least give it a couple shots or something. And then there's a Flame Geyser. Which is really nothing different or special that I can tell. It's just the Flame Geyser. It does more damage. I mean, the Flame Geysers are pretty useful in certain circumstances, but uh, really not nothing too special, I would say, with the Flame Geyser. At least not that I've noticed. I don't think it does anything different than a norm normal weapon. Definitely shoots straight. I like that. But yeah, the reload time, man, it's kind of brutal on this thing. I mean, I, I know it's a Goliath, but still, I mean, I feel like they could have made a little bit less. But definitely a cool weapon. I like it. It's gonna, I think it's has some uses for it, so. It's definitely the best Goliath if you don't need to guide it, so. Alright, let's go back to the thing again. Actually, that, I think, is it. Uh, I think we, yeah, I think we covered all the weapons for Ranger. 
He didn't get any vehicles, which I was kind of surprised. Um, he didn't get any healing items or anything like that. So, I mean, overall, I mean, he's got some really solid weapons, and I think they're useful for sure. I mean, I would say my my favorite is probably the shotgun and the snipers. They're definitely some good snipers, so that's good to know. Um, I would say the other classes, I don't know. I think the other classes, in the way I view it is Ranger is more of a challenging class to play as, which I kind of like. I kind of like them to keep it that way, to not give him too many broken broken items and broken weapons. So I think he's still a challenging class to play, and I think uh, I really like his class, so I'm pretty happy with these. Next I'll cover um, Wing Diver, so hope you uh, join me on the next one. So thanks a lot for watching, and hope to see you in the next video.